Gangrel, I'm not too thrilled the fact that you're here, but they're asking me to ask you how your time here in Newfoundland has been. Well, you're the only person I met that wasn't too thrilled. All the people here in this town have been nothing but awesome. I had a great time last night. I got screeched in. I, I love that rum. That, that screech rum was awesome. But I'm sorry you feel like that, little buddy. Well, tonight, Gangrel, you have an LCW heavyweight title match against the international wrestling god, Cowboy Mike Hughes. And what do you feel your chances are? Well, if he was actually God, my chances would be very good, but he's not. So he's just a man. Hey, he calls himself a cowboy Mike Hughes. He's, his reign's about over with. Hopefully I can come in here and get some fanging and banging done and walk away with the LCW heavyweight title. And maybe me and you can become buddies at some time. We can go out and we'll start fanging and banging. <laughs> Welcome back after the break, folks, to LCW's Legends of Wrestling, where the action is just underway between the LCW champion, Cowboy Mike Hughes, and the Vampire Warrior, Gangrel. Well, as soon as Gangrel turned his back, Cowboy Mike Hughes actually took advantage of that and started pummeling the Vampire Warrior right off the bat there, Biz. Of course he did. Cowboy Mike Hughes is an international wrestling god. Here as you I go stated again. earlier. Here you go again. As I stated last week. Uh, okay. And go, no, as go ahead. Such, as such, the very existence of the Vampire Warrior is an affront to his LCW heavyweight title reign. And for you guys to actually bring in Gangrel to try and slow Mike Hughes' reign is absolutely disgusting and disrespectful to your champion. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Well, from the looks of it right now, Gangrel has done a wonderful job at turning the tide and actually has one up there on Mike Hughes as he takes him into the ropes, throws him off, Hughes reversal. Oh, he goes for the hip toss. No way, Gangrel goes for his patent DDT goes right into a body slam. Great move there by Gangrel, Mike. And Gangrel, the Vampire Warrior, certainly has the fan support here tonight, something that Cowboy Mike Hughes always seems to be lacking as he powders out of the ring. And you know something, fan support is something that Mike Hughes may be lacking, but ring presence and experience is something that he's not missing in any way, shape, or form. He rolled out of the ring to slow the actual momentum of the Vampire Warrior, Gangrel, and actually try and swing this match back into his favor. Oh, uh, we don't disagree with you here, uh, Mr. Biz. Mike Hughes certainly knows what he's doing, and for that reason, and others as well, that is why he is the LCW Heavyweight Champion. Isn't that so, Mike? It certainly is, and here we see him pulling Gangrel outside the ring. And a couple of stiff shots to the back. Oh, geez, now they're going punch for punch to the outside. Gangrel with a knee to uh, Mike Hughes' gut. Comes back with a couple of chops going around the ring post to the other side of the ring, giving all the fans an opportunity to see the two of them go at hand-to-hand -hand combat. And you know something? This is where referee Matt Wheeler should really be concentrating on getting the action back inside the ring. This match should never go to the floor. Well, even if it does go to the floor, I hate to say this, but I agree with you, there should only be a 10 count. This is never billed as a street fight, and I don't understand why the referee isn't doing the mandatory 10 count and allowing Mike Hughes to choke out the Vampire Warrior. I don't get it, Mike. Well, I don't really get it either, but hopefully this is one of the things Matt Wheeler gets to learn from Mr. Fantastic, who's taken the youngster under his wing recently. Oh, absolutely. Well, I'm greatly looking forward to seeing what kind of progress Mr. Fantastic is going to be able to make with uh, the referee Matt Wheeler, Mike. And as Gangrel throws him back into the ring, we see Mike Hughes up quickly and cutting him off. And here we go. Mike Hughes throwing Gangrel right off the ropes. Big boots to the face. Fans don't go anywhere. We're coming back with more main event championship action right after the break. Wrestling fans, LCW is coming to a town near you. Tuesday, April 30th at the Palace in Cornerbrook. Wednesday, May 1st at the Polar Center in St. Anthony. Friday, May 3rd at the Labrador City Arena. Saturday, May 4th at the E.J. Broomfield Arena in Happy Valley Goose Bay. For more information, visit our website, legendcitywrestling.com or call us toll free 
1-855-LEGEND-4. And fans, here we are returning from our commercial break with Cowboy Mike Hughes in firm control of this match. Gangrel barely able to stand as he crawls over to the ropes. Cowboy Mike Hughes choking him out. Matt Wheeler counting to five. I'm telling you, this is one of the many reasons why the Cowboy is the LCW champion. That's absolutely something that we can actually agree on, Dan. Yep. He is a great ring technician, a thinking man's wrestler. He doesn't care what he needs to do to get the job done, so long as he walks out with the belt. Well, here's the thing. Uh, uh, I did mean to cut you off, so I'm not going to apologize, but he actually takes the referee's five counts to the limit each and every time. He knows what he can do, he knows what he can't do, and he even takes advantage of that. As soon as the referee has his back turned, don't think for a second that Mike Hughes is gonna play a clean game. He is as dirty as it gets. I agree 150%, Dan. As dirty as he gets, you can say what you like, but as you can see after he steamrolled Gangrel that time and taking a second to show everybody in the audience exactly how great he is that he still has the belt so regardless of what you think of his methods they work but here's the thing though is that what Cowboy Mike Hughes needs to stop doing he needs to stop showing the fans his muscles he needs to stop yelling at the people that are yelling at him on the other side of the guardrail instead of doing that he should be jumping right back on the vampire warrior instead of worrying about what the fans are talking about right here these are the things that are going to swing this match back into the vampire warrior gangrel's favor mr biz Right now, it doesn't seem like what you just said actually matters. The Vampire Warrior is still actually just being, uh, being a punching bag for our champion. Ah, I hate to disagree. Actually, I want to disagree, and I most certainly am, until Mike Hughes took back control after cutting the Vampire Warrior Gangrel off. And now he goes right back into choking him out, putting his neck on the ropes, putting his boot right on the Vampire Warrior's neck. He's wearing him down, and it shows. Gangrel can barely stand up in the corner. Isn't that so, Mike? It seems to be the case, but I'm confident that the Gangrel will come back from this. I certainly hope so, and I'm sure all the fans at the CLB Armory here in St. John's are hoping for the exact same result there, Mr. Barrington. John, what's your opinion of how this match is going so far? This match is going fantastically. I couldn't have hoped for a better outing for our champion, the gentleman, Cowboy Mike Hughes. Gentleman? Yes, the gentleman, Cowboy Mike Hughes. When has he ever been a gentleman? Wait, hasn't he? He plays by the rules consistently. Whose rules? I'm still waiting for an answer, because he certainly doesn't play by the official's rules. He's always cheating, he's always choking, he's always using foreign objects. That's the reason why he still has that belt. And there we see he had a handful of hair as he pulled the Vampire Warrior Gangrel down to the mat. Mike, I, I, I agree exactly with what you're saying, but Mike, what do you think Gangrel has to do in order to, in order to overcome uh, Mike Hughes's control of this match? I'm getting so excited, I, I'm, I'm stumbling at the, at the thought of Gangrel possibly winning the title. Well, it's true, Dan. But what he's got to do now is he's got to dig down deep to overcome the in-ring skill of Cowboy Mike Hughes. And the fans are very closely behind him. Mike Hughes with all of his body weight down on Gangrel's neck. And what people don't understand, Dan, is that several years back, Gangrel actually had neck surgery. So we can see that Cowboy Mike Hughes is doing everything he can to exploit that previous injury. And I'm willing to bet that two of you guys are actually going to try and condemn Mike Hughes for actually exploiting this weakness in the Vampire Warrior. No, John Biz, here's the thing. As long as it's done within the rule book, I have no problem with Cowboy Mike Hughes exposing any previous injuries to any of his opponents, as long as it's fair game. And here we see Gangrel digging down deep now, trying to make a comeback in this match. Well, obviously, uh, Mike Hughes' effect on his neck aren't as severe as we originally thought. 
Here comes Gangrel with a little bit of energy, trying to fight back up with a couple of shots to Hughes' midsection. Bouncing off the ropes. Uh-oh, Mike Hughes goes down. Back off. He ducks underneath. Mike Hughes picks him up. Oh, no. He just knocked... He just knocked right into Matt Wheeler's eye. And here Mike Hughes goes for his finisher, the Michinoku driver. I'm it's not... over, Dan. It's over. Can the referee actually... Yes, the referee's actually counting to three, but Gangrel kicks out. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for the finish of this match right after this commercial break. Wrestling fans, LCW is coming to a town near you. Tuesday, April 30th at the Palace in Cornerbrook. Wednesday, May 1st at the Polar Center in St. Anthony. Friday, May 3rd at the Labrador City Arena. Saturday, May 4th at the E.J. Broomfield Arena in Happy Valley Goose Bay. For more information, visit our website, legendcitywrestling.com or call us toll free 1-855-LEGEND-4. And welcome back fans to the finale to this title match between Cowboy Mike Hughes and the Vampire Warrior Gangrel. As we can see Matt Wheeler still having trouble with his vision. And here comes Matt, and here comes, no way, Mike Hughes with a chair. Oh no! And this is what I call Mike Hughes taking advantage of a situation. He wants to put this match away. He wants to get off of this rock. Hey, it's Mr. Fantastic. Fantastic! What's Mr. Fantastic doing in the ring? He's taking care of business. He's making sure that Mike Hughes is playing by the rules. And there's Mike Hughes going after Mr. Fantastic. Throwing him off the ropes. Uh-oh. And he comes back. Big boots to the guts. Matt Wheeler can't see a thing. Oh, he hits him with his finishing TKO. And he's outside the ring. And here comes Gangrel. Can he capitalize on the situation? I certainly hope so. With Matt Wheeler being all but out, having not seen any of what happened, even with the chair to the stomach and to the back. What's going to happen now, John? So hang on, wait a minute. What you guys are going to tell me is it's not okay for Mike Hughes to grab a chair and use that to his advantage, but it's perfectly okay for your boy, Mr. Hypocrite, to jump in the ring and attack our champion? Well, let's call a spade a spade. If Mike Hughes is going to be able to use a chair or a foreign object, I don't see any problem with Mr. Fantastic evening up the score by coming in and getting rid of the chair. And by, besides, Mike Hughes attacked Mr. Fantastic first. Because he stuck his nose in the LCW Champions business where it does not belong. Oh, what a big elbow. And here he comes back with the clothesline. House of Fire. Is this the end of Mike Hughes' title reign in LCW? It's not looking good for the LCW Champion. No, it's not. I think Gangrel's going to... Is he calling for his finisher? No, he's going off the ropes. Oh, another big elbow. Going for the cover. Matt Wheeler counts two. Oh, oh no, two and a half. It's going to take more than out. that. It's going to take more than that than to, to put Cowboy Mike Hughes away. Well, Gangrel right now is clearly asking the fans if they want to see the DDT. Here he goes. Boot to the stomach. Going for his finisher. Hughes gets out of it. It's a reversal. What's going on here? Hughes got his feet on the ropes and he got the three count. No way. You cannot possibly tell me that's how this match is ending. That's exactly how I'm going to tell you this match is going to end, boys. Cowboy Mike Hughes is still your LCW Heavyweight Champion. The international wrestling god is raising his arms victoriously. It's Mr. Fantastic, Gangrel, and Matt Wheeler can whine and moan as much as they want on the internet about it. Cowboy Mike Hughes is still the champion. You're welcome. Oh, here comes Mr. Fantastic with a punch. Oh, there's that DDT. It's done. Mike Hughes is now out cold. Thanks to the help of Mr. Fantastic, even though he did not win the heavyweight title, the Vampire Warrior Gangrel has his hands raised to the delight of all of the fans at the CLB Armory. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please help me out 
and like this video, then click the subscribe and get notifications buttons so you don't miss any of my latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Facebook at The Hannibal TV for more live streams and videos. And while you're at it, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Hannibal TV.